Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Chelsea's Tarot Readings. And for today's pick a card, this is actually going to be messages from your future self. So what messages, what wisdom, what advice does your future self have for you in this moment? I did three different piles or three different charms. Choose the one that you are initially drawn to. This is pile one or the mermaid charm, pile two or the skull charm, and pile three or the llama charm. I will post the timestamps in the description as well as the comments, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hello, pile one, or those of you who chose the mermaid charm. So we're going to be looking at messages from your future self, okay? So the first message, we're going to be looking at the roast iconic oracle. <laughs> Aw, are you actually- oh, of course I drop it. But you guys actually got a good card for the first one, so we have empath. Okay. So I'm kind of getting this feeling like you're going through- you might be going through some turbulent times, and I feel this has a lot to do with some instability when it comes to your emotions, because for a lot of you, your future self is trying to get this message to you that you are an empath and these feelings, these feelings of overwhelmingness, these feelings of sadness, you might think are yours when actually they're someone else's. So it's important to do like a prayer or talk to your spirit guides about releasing this energy that isn't yours or sending it back to, you know, the sender or whatever, you know? Because you're, I feel for a lot of you, you're consuming other people's energy and it's not good for you. Uh, you need to protect yourself, especially if you're an empath. Very sensitive, obviously. Um, and then also, this card talks about unhealed trauma as well. Like, maybe you've gone through a lot of trauma. Um, it might be time to seek more therapy. I mean, I know a lot of people try and it doesn't help. So I know, like, for me personally, like, I, I feel that, but at the same time, like, you still need to try, you need to get back into it. For a lot of you, especially when you're dealing with so many other emotions that aren't yours. So this is an important message from your future self, mostly to protect your own energy, okay? So, then from the Rebel deck, we have, you are talented and fucking amazing. So your future self also wants because i feel like there could be some low confidence as well with this empath energy um again your future self wants you to know like you are worth a lot and you have so many talents and you're an amazing person so the world needs your power use your voice don't don't just sorry just don't use it for dumb shit what i'm getting with this card is that you're also kind of maybe leaning back right now and your future self is telling you that is not the answer your future self is telling you like you you need to use your voice right now because people need you i'm getting like people need you um yeah you're just you're meant to do great things so hmm, i'm trying to think what should we look at next we'll save the tarot cards for last okay so we'll look at um oh, i had the wisdom booklet over here okay so we're going to be actually looking at the your wisdom card and then we have the mermaid oracle so we have yeah just <clears throat> it kind of goes along with this card actually we have observer in reverse so normally when this card is upright the message would be to kind of sit back and change your perspective about things and soak in information be the learner not the teacher type of deal however with this card being reversed again you're being told by your future self to use your voice it's not the time to sit back it is not the time to stay quiet it's time for you to motivate and it's time for you to move that's what i'm getting yes okay so this card shipwreck siren as you look at this card it looks kind of looks kind of like not that great i guess you could say it looks uh scary there's like a ship in the back you know it's called shipwreck and then this this lady looks all mean um with this card again your future self is saying like you're a lot stronger 
and you have a lot more capability than you think you do and people will take that for granted so it's a time for you to again step up change your eating habits uh go for walks um join that club i don't know what club the book club i don't know um do that speech because again i'm getting something like or you need to get something out there there could be something you're really talented at that you're kind of just wasting away right now i feel like you're sort of in this stagnant energy especially with observer in reverse and your future self i feel is trying to motor uh, motivate you <laughs> motivate you especially in this reading really trying to motivate you if that makes sense because you could be really sad right now especially with the shipwreck siren so let's see what other cards we have from your future self and i think this was the only pile where four cards came out and an extra one might come out so we have these six sorry four of lightning swords yep okay that makes sense mm -hmm. five of pumpkins we have the eight of candles and the ace of candles wow i love how like it's like in this order too i'm loving this order for sure okay so messages from your future self here we go again with this four of lightning so this is actually the four of swords this is very uh, similar to the observer in reverse card except this is a little darker so what i'm getting from this card from your future self your future self is letting you know that your pain and your suffering that you're going through is valid your feelings are valid but you're so strong i'm getting like uh, uh the four of lightning next to the five of pumpkins this would be the uh, five of pentacles so there could be some money troubles but i feel like it's it could be more emotional is what i'm getting like there's a lot of um it could be like some depression but i'm getting like for some of you it could also have to do with money issues however your future self is telling you with the eight of candles and ace of candles because these are both wands so eight of wands and ace of wands dude you got this like you are your biggest supporter right now and you need to get up you need to pat yourself on the back for how far you've come and again don't be too hard on yourself validate your emotions they're very valid um again with the eight of wands your future self is telling you it's time to you know time to get a move on it's time to get your passions and to drive right now um apply to those places you know or do something really creative i'm getting for, for a lot of you yeah, like talent like do something really creative because with the ace of candles as the last card especially and i love this because it's telling me this new passion and this new path i guess you could say is going to bring a lot of light into your life and this is exactly what you need because notice too it's funny i say that and like she's i didn't even see but she's holding this candle and it's lit and same with the eight of candles they're all lit and i'm getting like you're 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 going to be heading towards the right way but you need to take your future self's advice into consideration that you kind of need to kick yourself in the butt right now that could mean like changing eating habits again going for walks doing things to help make your mind feel better you know what I'm saying? Doing yoga. That's what I like to do. Because you could even just do it at home. But yeah, certain things to just kind of make yourself feel better. So yeah. Um, but yeah, your feelings are valid. That is definitely Pile One's message from your future self. And you're talented. You're amazing. Get out there. Do things. You're going to do great. You're going to do great things. That was Pile One. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Hi, those of you who chose the second pile or the skull um okay so we're going to be seeing some messages from your future self first we'll get into we'll get into the roast iconic oracle Let's see what we have here wow it's so funny because most literally like i want to say 90 percent of the cards in that deck are all roasts and this is one of the cards that is just like not it's such a good card so your future self right away wants to let you know that you're very very unique and the thing with unique people right 
the thing of special people and this is people like that are special in their own way because they have good morals they have a good head on their shoulders and again they, they have things about them that are very different compared to the normal everyday person and you'll know what i'm saying because that's you so your future self wants to say i feel like especially with this card i i can definitely just say it they're very proud of you i'm getting like this sense of like uniqueness however there is also this side message and the side message is you need to protect your energy there will be people around you this is from your future self that have vampiric energy vampiric energy vampire energy um well they will where they will uh, appear charming but they will suck the soul right out of you your future self is telling you to pay attention to that and don't let those people in your life because you're better than that and you deserve better people surrounding you in better situations so that's a message i'm getting Okay, then we have whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. <laughs> so there could be like some other activities or something you really want to, you really were planning on doing. I feel like your future self's telling you like, don't do it right now. It's a bad idea. We can, we'll kind of see, I'll pull a card for that one. Yeah, we'll pull a card. That one is a little confusing. I feel like you'll need more context because I know I would. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Pile two. What is pile two thinking about? Justice. So for some of you, maybe you feel like you were wronged in some way. Or because I feel like for a lot of you, when you feel strongly about something, you let your opinion be heard. But I feel like you could in some ways be kind of dramatic about it. So I feel like your future self is telling you like um whatever you're thinking of doing uh just think twice because again you could be going through a lot right now and just because it seems like it'll be fair for you and it'll set things straight it could again not be the time so it could even just be something as simple as reaching out to someone you know don't do it because again with the justice card it could be like reaching out to someone to kind of um balance things and balance the connection i guess but yeah your future self's telling you like don't do that you know no, it's not the time at least okay so what do we have for wisdom and our mermaid card so yeah we have breathe we have breathe so this is a little similar to pile one because what i'm getting with this card your future self is telling you it is time to relax you need to take a deep breath you need to do your deep breaths in your deep breaths out you need to meditate you need a walk in nature i'm getting like really too like even just like taking a walk in nature i'm getting like you need to breathe fresh air and like not just like not only deep breaths but breathe in fresh air meditation would be very beneficial for you right now your future self i feel is worried about your health um because for some of you, you could have like high anxiety high worries um that kind of thing be easier on yourself because that's another message i'm getting which is similar to pile one as well <clears throat> jeweled octopus wow so i'm only wowing myself because this actually goes with unicorn um this is a warning card so your future self is warning you again this is like a double warning be careful protect protect your energy please because there's gonna be people around you that are gonna really try and like s like steal your energy like again like a wicked vampire energy and a lot of people especially like um kind of being the light in a in a room type of thing like people want to drain that energy because they feed off of that because they want that that's what they want and they want to make you miserable doing it your future self's warning you don't put yourself in those types of situations because you know you're better than that and you deserve better and that's what i'm getting it could be friends could even be co-workers just don't trust people you know that kind of thing protect your energy okay so it could even be warning about like someone you want to even message i'm getting for some of you it's like don't message that person because it's a facade type of thing all right so let's see what we have we have the ten of torches okay so this is actually the ten of wands and what I get with this card is like, in this deck, 
this person is actually able to carry these. It seems like with more ease than the normal tarot deck or original Rider weight. So this message I'm getting a little bit differently. So I'm getting your future self is telling you like, it's time to put down these burdens. Yes, you can carry them. Yes, you've proved that you can carry them for so long, but it's time to put them down. I'm getting the message like it's time to move on to a next phase in your life. Let's see what else we have. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you're feeling like depleted and kind of worn out. Could be too, you're taking on too much. You're putting too much of your energy into something. Three of Swords. Okay. And that's the last one. Death. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, for some of you, not all of you, this could be actually about a person because with the Three of Swords, it talks about heartache and then death, so endings. So your future self is also telling you, don't go back to situations where you know you that person has hurt you and it's already ended. Um, let's see. I don't know, I want to kind of get like, let's see, let's get like a couple more cards. What is your future self trying to say, Pile to the High Priestess? Hmm. Yeah, okay, the Knight. We have the Knight at the bottom, which is kind of like... An extra card in the deck. So I'm going to pull it out anyways. Okay. Your future self, like, knows. I'm kind of getting, like, this is a big mess. Because your future self's telling me, like, you've been through it. And I'm getting, like, for some of you, keep going through the same cycle. Um. The, the answers that you need for a lot of you. Because, again, y'all are, like, rare as as hell um y'all are so rare i'm getting for a lot of you with the high priest especially you could be very wise very wise and i'm getting the answers are within you that's kind of what i'm getting with this high priestess card the answers are within you because with the prince of torches here obviously fire you have the passion and the drive to do whatever you want and that's what your future self is telling you you have the passion you have the drive right now we have the night it feels like it's darkness right now but that's not how it's always going to be because again you're very rare um you attract very good things and i feel like it's again a little similar to pile one because with the prince of uh, torches you're being told it's time to you know get a move on um and you can do this you can get through this you can fight through it but the answers are also inside you with the high priestess. Because for a lot of you, you're very wise. You might not even realize it. <clears throat> Things do feel very dark right now, though. It does. It feels like it's just the night for a lot of you. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's because people are draining this energy out of you. So again, even like pile one, um, it's, t it's a time to protect your energy. Because... You could be empath, so yeah, as well. Unicorn, empaths. But yeah, it's it's a good time to definitely, like, especially with this night card I'm getting, protect your energy. Because also you think very deeply about a lot of things. And this affects your overthinking and, you know. So let's get one more advice card. Let's get advice. Advice for me. Advice for Seven of Swords. Okay. Three of Torches. Okay, so advice from your future self. Move under the radar. Build your skills up is what I'm getting. Build those skills up. Stay stealthy, though. Don't let people know of your plans. Three of Torches. I feel like your future self's telling you, like, it's time to go this new path it's time to be confident as well as 
build that energy. And again, you need to get out in nature, you need to breathe, but definitely with the three of torches, the three of wands, you know, a lot of wands in here, it's time to take action and take back your energy. Cause that's also like an important message I'm getting from your future self is it's time to kind of like take back your energy and not letting these vampire people suck the energy out of you. That's a big message. Okay. So yeah, that was pile two. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Those of you who chose pile three or the llama charm. So this is going to be messages from your future self. First, we'll be looking at the Roast Iconic Oracle and see what we have. Wow. So we have the Billionaire card here. This is crazy. I haven't pulled this card, but your future self is trying to communicate to you that you have the capability of becoming very rich, I'm getting. Like, you... You could be very smart, but I feel like there could be like untapped potential. So if you don't already have a lot of money, you'll definitely be getting there. However, your future self is warning you, please use that for charities as well. Don't, you know, hoard all of your money and like most billionaires, how they hoard their money. No, like use it for good, like give back, that kind of thing. Do good. So that's a good message. So next to that, from the Rebel deck, we have It's Dark and You Can't See a Fucking Thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. So with this card, for a lot of you, I'm getting like, there could be some things you're not seeing or you're choosing not to see. And this can be very dangerous because what we see is what it is. So yeah, your future self is definitely telling you, you know, straighten up, get out, get out of your, get your head out of your ass and look at what's going on around you because i feel like there could be some things that you're missing that could be not that great so we'll see what kind of we have with the wisdom and the mermaid deck yeah so we have never ending story and we have hammer dried lake wow okay so this card i feel like could relate to this now there's something or there's, there's someone around you and you're not seeing them for who they really are <sighs> i'm getting like this person could be using you most likely a female this person could be using you this person could be putting you down because i'm also getting like with never ending story especially like right in the middle of these two someone could be wounding uh wounding your ego so hurting your ego basically telling you maybe even like someone in your ear like you're not capable of like doing this or completing this, that kind of thing. Basically being that little boy, that little devil on your shoulder or something. And then with never ending story, even that card talks again about like a wounded ego, um, about wasting time as well. Kind of like wasting time type of thing is what I'm getting, especially, you know, um, and it could be actually very like saddening or even like depressing for you. I'm getting Hmm. For some of you, this could actually be like a woman you're dating as well. That's why we have never ending story because this could be like a boomerang thing. Maybe they keep coming back and your future self's telling you, guess what? It's time to stop. It's time to stop because you're not looking at it for what it really is. And for others, this could be a family member. Either way, there's someone around you that could be sabotaging you from actually achieving your goals is kind of what I'm getting from these cards. For sure, that's kind of what I'm getting. Alright, so let's see what we have. We have the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this is crazy because it's funny. It goes with the Billionaire card. I'm getting for a lot of you. You could be very well off already. But there's something that you need to share with others. So whether that's money, whether that's wisdom, there's definitely something that you do need to share with other people. And your future self is telling you that this will be highly beneficial. It will make you so happy and you'll be so happy you did so. Um, because I feel like for a lot of you, like giving to other people does make you happy. And that's such a good thing. So then we have, wow, then we have 10 of pumpkins, which would be 10 of pentacles. Wow. Wow. Okay, yeah, your future self is basically telling you like you're going to get out of this rut. This rut that you're in, you're going to get out of. I'm seeing definite financial security. I'm seeing you 
being able to give to other people because of this, you know, financial security. And it could all just be because you believed in yourself, you know, and you didn't listen to other people. So, yeah, wow. Then we have the Emperor. Yeah, for a lot of you, I'm getting definitely like this masculine energy, but yeah. And then with the Emperor, you're going to be, I'm kind of getting like you could be a boss, like you're going to be in like a, a, a top position, managerial position. Either way, you're going to be getting paid. And it's all because of your skills. And it's all because you have what it takes to achieve your goals. So, yeah. Your future self is telling you, don't listen to these other people. Because they don't know what you know. And you're very wise. And they suck. They suck, suck, suck. And they're just trying to ruin other people. And this reminds me of the first two piles. Which talks about people with vampire energy. <laughs> it's funny because he's a vampire. But you're not a vampire. With vampire energy that suck the other energy out of other people. And that's all they do. That's all they live for. Because they're, you know, kind of useless. But anyways, you're not. And your future self's telling you, you got what it takes. Hold on. Don't listen to these people. Move forward with confidence. And yeah, you got this. And again, leave the past in the past as well for some of you. You need to leave the past in the past. And open your eyes and see what's going on around you. It's time to do that, okay? That was pile three. Oh, shit, I dropped my crystal. That was pile three. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.